So this is a new look. What? My hair? Yeah. Oh yeah. New haircut and everything. Yeah. I got my side my sideburns. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your journey this season. You know, so far it looks like maybe your character is having a little bit of a push and pull with his alpha. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, um, I mean, there's definitely not a lot I can say just because it's like we're only on the third episode and there's a lot that's going to, you know, is going to happen in the next couple episodes. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's just about, you know, Scott kind of losing control um, and he's not sure why and, um, and, Liam can kind of see that Scott's concerned for his his own well-being, so that makes Liam a little nervous. You know that like this this is our leader, and he's doubting himself. So it's like that makes that makes Liam really nervous, especially coming from you know a, a family where the the male role wasn't very prominent. You know, he kind of um, just that whole that whole dynamic kind of makes him nervous, um, which is why he was. Which is why, um, in the first couple episodes and in the last season, towards the end, he really started to, to you know, love Scott as, as a brother and as uh, a leader to him. I love that um, Liam told Mason yeah. about the uh, the secret. And is he a part of your inner circle? Like, how much are we going to see him kind of interacting with the group? I think, uh, referring specifically to that line when I was like, "No, you're not part of the blah blah." I think that's just because it's like it's like a group of older kids, and I'm like, "No, dude, you're ruining this." But um, it's one of those like younger kid things that I didn't want him like because he's being a dork in that scene but um he's definitely he's you know he's like we're like brothers in the show just like how Dylan and Stylers are Dylan, Dylan and Styles <laughs> Scott, Scott and Styles are um so many names so little time um but we're definitely that dynamic especially from like them in the first season is definitely what we're trying to play on and me and Kyle have had talks about that you know like not copying but also wanting to give that, um, you know, that kind of tribute to, to the show because that their relationship is so great and we want to do something, you know, similar, um, but also give it a new feeling, um, which I think I think we're doing. I think we're I think we're getting it. And um, Kyle and I have been friends for a long time prior to the show, and um, we're, we're having so much fun. We rehearse with each other all the time, and um, and we really make it fun for each other, which is the great greatest thing and I think that that plays out on screen. Are we going to see more of the family dynamic? Because that's really important with the other characters, but we haven't seen that much with them. Um, the, this season, this half of the season, I don't think we're going to touch on it as much because there's a lot going on with Scott, you know, there's a lot going on within the group. Um, it'll, it's going to be hard to kind of touch on outside of the group. Um, but I definitely think 5B and, and now 6 will definitely touch on that a lot more. Um, you know, my my family my family life and also um, Kyle and Mason's family life as well. Now this new girl, this new nemesis yes. from uh, the Hayden. elementary school days. Hayden. Can we? Can you tell us more about that and that relationship and where it's um, going? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, basically the whole thing is when when we were kids, we hated each other because we like broke each other's noses um, on the day we took like school photos. So we kind of she hates me for that. Um, but um, I think as much as Liam doesn't like her, like you know, I think I oh, that's, let me see, go back. It's not that he like hates her or anything. I think it's just like this the kind of like lighthearted like rivalry that's been going on for like a long time and they're just kind of used to it you know um but now Liam's starting to kind of I think care about her a little bit more you know especially in this time that you know whether she likes it or not she's kind of slowly starting to drift into this group of people and in this scary time you know so Liam's bound to, to you know have to, to care for her um, whether or not he, he likes her in that way, just because that's what this group does. Yeah, you know.
just as he would do for anyone else in his pack. What kind of dynamic will Liam have uh, with Theo? Because you know, you're the new kid on the block, and now he's coming in, trying to come into the pack. Like, what's going to happen with that? Yeah, Liam doesn't like Theo. Liam does not like Theo, especially in that one scene when we see him in the woods and just give him a death stare. Um, no, I mean, that's 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 a big thing with Liam, is that he knows how hard it is to get into the pack. Um, he, know how, he knows how hard it is to kind of be trusted like that. Um, so that's what he's doing now, you know, and, and Liam has trust issues as well. So it's kind of, it's very hard for him to want to let someone else in the group that he doesn't know and that he can kind of get a sense that this guy is a little bit weird, you know. 